Hey there, I'm uh, having an issue with my truck. I've got a check engine light. Just wanted to uh, show you uh, some some quick things on how I diagnosed what the issues were and how we're going to fix them. Um, first, let's look at uh, this. I picked up a uh, OBD2 uh, sensor that I could plug into my vehicle. I uh, just wanted to show you the part number real quick. Fixed it from Amazon. Wasn't bad. 20 bucks, 25 bucks, I'm not sure. Wanted to show you exactly how to uh, how to use this. These fit in most cars uh, from 90s, 2000s, up through 2015, 2016. A lot of cars are still using these. If you look under the dash, there's a little plug right there and this just plugs right into it. Like that. There you go, a little blue light came on right here. Next step, download it from the App Store. It's Dash Command. It's a great app. Once you get that downloaded, sign up. It does cost money, I don't remember how much it was. 10 bucks, 12 bucks, I'm not sure, maybe 20. Open that up, it gives you a little diagnostic screen. Uh, to get connected, um, you want to go ahead and start your vehicle. Well, first of all, you want to have Bluetooth turned on on your iPad. And then go ahead and uh, start your vehicle. And after you have it started, We'll go ahead and hit the uh, not connected button. It'll say connecting. You don't want to connect through Bluetooth by going to your Bluetooth uh, um, app on your iPad. You just want to have the Bluetooth turned on and then hit the button here in the, uh, in the app. Okay, that didn't work that time. Let's try it one more time. Okay, I did get it connected. I had to close out my app and then reopen it uh, just because I had had it open so long and connected to different vehicles. Um, but as you can see, it is uh, connected now. Uh, now, if you have a, a check engine light, the best place to go is to this diagnostics button up here. Down here at the bottom, it says read codes. Just touch that, it takes a minute. Here it's got a uh, one code found. Uh, it's got the P0401 exhaust gas recirculation um, insufficient airflow. So that's what we're going to be fixing today. Uh, but just another quick look at the app. Um, it's got some gauges here where I can show you different readings of what's going on in your uh, vehicle. Um, main menu, got some dashboards, of course also got some different uh, gauges here and it can give you, um, <clears throat> you know, your fuel economy, it can give you your different uh, statistics since your last fill up, everything from drive time and fuel economy, CO2 emission rate, all kinds of other, uh, other things that are being monitored down here. So that's what that, uh, that OBT, OBD2 sensor um, does for you. This connects, uh, connects to your vehicle. This dash command app connects to your car. Um, we'll go back to the main menu. Now once, uh, once I make some uh, corrections, I want to try to get this code uh, cleared and so it comes back. Down here at the bottom there's a clear codes um, uh, button you can press and you do that. Um, then you go drive around for 50 miles or however long, depending on what the code is, and then you'll, you can see if it comes back. Hopefully, when we do that, it won't come back today.